on the morning of the 18th, I believe it was Monday, I woke up to a cramp in my calf calf cramp. You may also know it as a Charlie horse, which is, I think, the more popular name for it. I was tossing and turning in bed. I was crying. Boyfriend was somehow oblivious to the whole thing. So when something like that happens, I usually think, this is going to be a terrible day. <laughs> it's just started off really terrible already, because when I have a cramp, it hurts very much to walk for the rest of the day. or not really hurt. It's very uncomfortable. About 15 minutes later, after my boyfriend goes to work, I check my phone. I'm just scrolling on Facebook. I'm like, ah, oh, what more thing happened today? Or what happened in Trump land, you know? Because something always happens in Trump land. And I see a post shared that says something along the lines of Chinese Kim Jong-un dies, uh, confirmed dead you know, by police. And I'm thinking, oh no, I'm, I'm jumping up in bed, I'm sitting up, and I'm thinking, please let it be something like, as terrible as this would be, and I wouldn't wish this on anyone, just so you know. Uh, but I was hoping maybe it was an accident, like a car accident, some uh, random spazzing help thing. I even preferred if somebody else had done it, rather than finding out that it was a suicide. They confirmed suicide. I've been around the K-pop world, not as much now, but I started getting into K-pop when I was in high school. Sophomore year. Sophomore year, junior year of high school, something along the lines of that. Around the time that Shiny debuted in 2008, definitely. So I've been around it for a long time. I basically grew up with uh, Jong Young and Shiny and basically anybody else from that K-pop era. So... The news of this hurt. Shiny wasn't my favorite or anything. I only liked a couple of songs. Uh, but Jung Hyun was my favorite of the group. Like, he was the first one that I noticed, you know, when watching music videos. To, to, be, to admit it, it was because he's pretty, you know? Voice was second. I noticed the prettiness and then the voice was second to that. But then, you know, it all comes together eventually when you, you know, you learn about a group, right? Um, so, you know, we kind of grew up together. Myself and the other fans of Shiny, we all kind of grew up together. Especially those of us that are around the same age, you know? He was 27 and I'm 26. There have been uh, quite a few deaths during this past decade in South Korea. Whether it be car accidents, you know, health issues, and some suicides. When that news broke for the other people, I was like, wow, that's really, really sad. But sometimes it just doesn't hit completely or really hard until it's somebody that you grew up with in a way so this hit really really hard and i was checking multiple sources trying to figure out if this was true or not because you know some people you know there have been hopes around you know but this was this is the truth like i said i haven't really kept up with k-pop in a while after all of my favorites kind of you know disbanded and what have you i just kind of i just didn't get into it as much to be fair i didn't really get into music as in gen i haven't really paid attention to music much in general except for a select few songs for the past couple of years but k-pop when it, it it sticks with you music sticks with you regardless so when something happens you're just kind of sucked back in k-pop for myself and a lot of people was an escape it was an escape from sh crappy times at school, terrible house lives, you know, and then you have to deal with crappy people 24-7 growing up. It was an escape coming home to new music videos and watching live performances. Sometimes on the weekends, I stayed up to watch my favorites on a live stream, which was always really, really great. Because it wasn't an accident, it wasn't a car accident, it wasn't someone who did it to him. Both terrible things, but when it's just a different feeling altogether when someone decides that they're going to do it to themselves. And I understand the feeling of someone with terrible mental health problems who also struggles with suicide ideation, etc, etc. I, I get it. At the same time, it's also like, why? Something that's really hard to explain. And those of us who have followed this industry for a while, we all know how awful the whole mental health thing is in South Korea. Places like the U.S in Canada, we're no better, we're not that much better, obviously, but I feel like it's amplified in South Korea. I really feel like it's amplified. I was watching some of the memorial videos. At the time that I'm filming this, the private funeral had not begun, but 
the memorial, the public memorial has, and it hurts watching those videos. I'm kind of like, why are you watching those videos? You know it's going to suck. Like, I'm still not believing that it's real, and I guess that's why I was watching them, because I feel like maybe if I watch it, it'll finally kick in, but I feel like it's still not kicking in, right? I really don't know what else to say. I'm very saddened by this, and now I can't watch. I've been watching Lucifer again, Ring Ding Dong. I loved watching Ring Ding Dong and listening to it and making fun of it because it was just so fun to laugh at. And I tried to do that again, you know, because you try to bring a little bit of happiness into your lives. It's not the same. I couldn't look at it and giggle. Well, maybe I could have giggled a little bit at it. Rest in peace, Kim jong Un. I'm sorry that the world has failed you. I hope you get some peace where you are now. And to the shiny members, I'm very, very sorry. Alright. I'll see you tomorrow.